so today I'm just looking at this uh, simple universal joint model and I'm going to be showing you how to apply a mechanism to it how to uh, analyze that mechanism, record the analysis and then use it in an animation and then how to change your views so that you're seeing this at, from different angles as the animation progresses so to begin with we're just going to go into the mechanism mode first thing we're going to do is apply a servo motor down here so select this axis and under profile I was making a velocity and then just give it a constant amplitude I'm just going to call this 20 for the moment uh, it's as far as I can tell it's fairly arbitrary so you just have to experiment and see how it looks uh, instead of constant if you wanted to you could use let's say a ramp function which um, just increases from one speed to another or you could use a cosine and that's basically a sine wave so that would mean like you could have it rotating clockwise and then when it reaches the, that peak on the sine wave then rotate then the other way until it hit the trough um, like following this kind of profile here uh, so that's that's useful if you want it turning left for a while, sorry, counterclockwise for a while and then clockwise again. But for the moment I'm just going to stick with constant and apply that. And if we go, we have to click into mechanism analysis. And for the frame rate, I always use 25 frames for these. And uh, I'm just going to give it an end time of 20 for the moment. And now when we select run, Here we can see this turning and calculating through the, uh, the full 20 seconds of the analysis. Down here is the little progress bar showing you how far you've gotten. And okay, it's finished that analysis now. So we can go yeah, click on the playback tool here. And if we hit playback, so you can play your analysis through here, just increasing or decreasing the speed, just to view it from different angles if you want. I'm just going to close this. And for the moment, we'll save this analysis. I'm going to just save it onto the desktop. Uh, we'll call it UC for Universal Connection, I guess, maybe. And save that, and close. So, and then close the mechanism mode. So the next thing I want to do is just set up the views that we want to see in our animation. Um, I'm just going to start with this. And I'm looking for oh yeah, this tool here. The view manager. Click on the orient tab. And just create a new view. So we'll call this view one. Um, I'm going to zoom in here on this joint new view, we we'll call this view 2 and then kind of swivel it around this way and uh, we we'll call this view 3 Okay. so when you're joining these views together in the animation, uh, Creo does some kind of interpolation of all the points getting from view 1 to view 2 to view 3 just to give you a nice smooth animation so I'll close that and now we'll go into the animation tool. So I'll click on application and animation. Okay, so the first thing is we have to import. Oh wait, there's our, uh, our servo motor. That's the mechanism that we ran earlier on. If you have other mechanisms that you want to animate that aren't in here for some reason, you go into new animation and you go import from MDO and you have to find the mechanism uh, analysis that you ran so that would be ours there, the uc.pvk so you'd open that and then that would be on the timeline here as well this timeline here, if you right click on it you can get, go to edit time domain change the frame rate there to 25 and you can adjust the length of the timeline if you want as well I'll just leave it at 10 seconds for the moment so I'll hit apply. Um, okay, now we have to say what we, what view at what time. 
So use this button, view at time. So view one at time zero after the start, that's okay. I'll, I want to see view two, we'll say at time five after the start. And then view three at time 10 after the start. So hit apply. And now when we hit the playback tool, you can smoothly see it going from one view to the other. while our mechanism is running and that's just it's kind of how you go about making a simple animation but it's the same process behind making a more complicated one or a longer animation as well as well you can also make certain parts transparent at particular times so I use the transparent at time tool I'll select the I'll, I'll select this part here and just I'll make it okay sorry just cancel again here okay so click on that once more transparency at time click on the part and then you have to select OK to accept that and then you can slide this to however opaque or transparent you want that part to be and then at what time you want that to happen so we'll say time 5 so we'll hit apply. Okay, and close that. And now when we hit the playback tool, so wait for five seconds into it. And there, now that's gotten transparent. And if you put I said we can make make we can make that smoother by selecting the transparent thing again, select this part, hit OK, and just say that we want it fully opaque at time zero. Okay, and then apply that. And then what that does is that it gives this a value. So it's fully trans, it's fully opaque at time zero, and then it gradually goes to be more and more transparent until f time five when it reaches the maximum level of transparency that we've set. So I'll just run that there. So yeah, you can see it gradually getting more and more transparent. And that might be just a nicer way of kind of smoothly introducing the transparency. And as well at the end of the animation, you can put another transparency box, but having it fully opaque. So it goes from opaque to semi-transparent to opaque again. So now to save this as either an AVI or an MPEG file, click on the playback tool. Okay, so now we can see here we are in the playback tool. So if we're happy with the animation, we select capture and uh, set the resolution here. Um, so typically you might want uh, for the height 1080 and then for the width 1920 and that's kind of standard high definition resolution a frame rate is 25 so that matches up fine and you can save it okay, as MPEG or AVI perhaps and uncompressed you can apply your own compression afterwards and if you photo render the frames, it'll look a lot more like the the proper rendered images um, that Creo can develop, but it does take a lot longer to do the animation then. So you just hit OK, and then it would run through that analysis and save it as an AVI. And that's all I'm going to be showing today. Thank you.